What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Necromancer changes in Update 37. Now, on PC, the update is live. If you're like me, you play on console. We have to wait a couple more weeks. But I know a lot of you out there on console are Necromancers, and there have been some changes to the class. A few nerfs. First of all, the Boneyard Grave Robber Morph. They reduced the damage of the Synergy by 34% to ensure that it is of similar power to other Synergies like Conduit and Combustion. Now, I know a lot of people out there, if you're an in-game player on console or on PC, you use a Necromancer. A lot of people use Necros in in-game content. We'll kind of have to wait and see once everyone has the update, kind of how they work or how this is going to work with the Necros. If people are going to continue to use a Necro as much as kind of those main go-to characters as damage characters in in-game content or will they go with something else. Uh, the Skeletal Mage Archer Morph, they fixed an issue where the damage boost uh, from this morph would fail to apply if the damage was blocked. And for Bone Tyrant, the uh, Death Gleaning, the passive now restores 333 uh, magic and 666 stamina when a nearby enemy dies up from 100 and 200. They said for masters of death, necromancers can often find themselves out of fuel even when there are corpses littering the battlefield. To try to remedy this without tipping the scales too far in areas where necromancer is already doing well, they've increased their bonuses by a decent amount. And of course that was kind of those developer comments. So in a way, they did a little bit of a buff to the Necros by giving you a bit more bonus, you know, when you're finding those corpses across the battlefield to help you out so you're not running out of uh, a lot of your magic or stamina. But at the same time, uh, that change to Grave Robber reducing that synergy by 34% was a pretty substantial nerf. So like I said, we'll kind of have to wait and see how everyone... Uh, kind of works their uh, necro with the class to see what they can do in in-game content. I still think a lot of necros are going to be used in in-game in in -game content for DPS. There's other great DPS classes out there, don't get me wrong. A lot of people are using heavy attack builds right now, which is pretty fun. Not still going to do the damage that a lot of attack build will, but I think uh, these heavy attack builds are really getting a lot more players into in-game content now because they can do a good bit of damage with them. But these changes overall, I think, will affect some people's builds and some people will kind of have to rework exactly how they're going to use their necromancer going forward. Anyway, leave me a comment your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.